by using the trigonometric ratios we can find the unknown distance and height of any given tower a mountain down the hill like that what do you mean by angle here necessarily we need is angle of elevation and angle of observation so if this is our eye level then if we see above anything the object that is called angle of elevation if we see below it is called the angle of depression Hello everyone a warm welcome to one and all this is your shruti ma'am lecturing in vidyashram the temple of excellence mysore so in this session we will be discussing about the chapter the heights and distances a heights and distances is the way to find out the heights as well as the distance of an unknown objects here so it is purely an application of trigonometry here we are going to apply the right angle transformation and using the ratios of all trigonometric ratios we are going to find the unknown heights and distances so here this is to find out the heights and distances of a tower mountain tree a ship an observer of an eye a boat like this so to study about the heights and distances we need a important thing called angle so what do you mean by angle here necessarily we need is angle of elevation and angle of observation so our eye vision is always parallel suppose we consider this as and our eye vision which is a parallel line so if we see above so it creates an angle it is called as angle of elevation if we see below it creates an depression that is called as angle of depression but what do you mean by an angle of elevation in terms of trigonometry here an angle of elevation so it is the angle between the horizontal line drawn through the observer's eye and the line joining the eye of the observer to any object is called angle of elevation so here the object is at the higher level than the eye so if this is our eye level then if we see above anything the object that is called angle of elevation if we see below it is called the angle of depression so the angle will be higher level when we see the object for an angle of elevation the object will be at lower level if it creates an angle of depression next the angle of depression is nothing but it is an angle between to the horizontal line drawn through the observer's eye and the line joining the object of the observer to any object so here the object will be at the lower level than our eye so this is called as angle of depression now let's see the application of trigonometry using the concept of elevation and depression in the problems let's see the first problem here the angle of elevation of the top of a tower at a distance of 200 meter from its foot is 60 degree find the height of the tower so we have a tower here suppose assume that we are standing here this tower is 200 meter away so when we see the top of the tower it creates an angle of elevation so this angle is given as 60 degree now we need to find the height of the tower so this is what we have to find let me consider this as a b c now again i said by using the trigonometric ratios we can find the unknown distance and height of any given tower a mountain down the hill like that so now i can use the trigonometric ratio for the theta which contains the opposite side as well as the adjacent side what is the ratio we can consume that is tan so we can take tan 60 degree is equal to ab by bc so the value of tan 60 is root 3 ab we have taken it as x and bc is given as 200 so therefore x is equal to cross multiplying this we get it as 200 root 3 meter so what is the x we have taken that is the height of the tower therefore the height of the tower is height of the tower is equal to 
root 3 meter. So, this is how we can calculate the unknown height of certain tower. The next problem, what is the angle of elevation of the sun when the length of the shadow of a pole is 1 by root 3 times the height of the pole. So, let me take the length of the pole as L and height of the pole as H. Given the length of the shadow is 1 by root 3 times the height of the shadow. Now, suppose we take any, let me call we have a sun here. So, let this is the height of the sun from the ground and this is the angle of elevation. Let me call this as theta and this is the length and this is the height. Now, we need to calculate the angle of elevation. So, let's see now. So, we have tan theta is equal to h divided by L. L can be written as h divided by 1 by root 3 h. h and h get cancels. We can write tan theta is equal to 1 over 1 by root 3 becomes root 3. So, for what values of tan, the value is root 3. It is for 60 degree. So, therefore, theta is equal to 60 degree. Hence, we can write angle of elevation is 60 degree. Next question, a kite flying at a height of h is tied to a thread which is 500 meter long. Assuming that there is a kink in the thread and it makes an angle of 30 degree with the ground, find the height of the kite. So, let's see that this is the thread and here is our kite. So, the kite height from the ground, let it be h and the distance of the thread is given which is 500 meter long and the angle formation that is the angle of elevation is given as 30 degree. Now we need to find the height of the kite. So here suppose I take this as a right angle triangle ABC. We have a hypotenuse and the opposite side. So what trigonometric function we can use which contains hypotenuse and opposite side that is sin theta. So, here we can use the sin 30 degree as a trigonometric ratio. So, which is opposite side divided by hypotenuse. Now, what is sin 30 degree? It is half is equal to h divided by 500. So, therefore, we get h is equal to 500 divided by 2 which is equal to 250 meters. So, therefore, the height of the kite is 250 meters from the ground. Next question, from a ship's mast head 50 meters high, the angle of depression of a boat is observed to be 30 degree. Find the distance from the ship. Suppose assume that you are standing on a ship whose height is and here is a water from the water level will be H. So, we see a boat here somewhere here whose angle of depression will be of 30 degree. This is my eye level. So, this will be an angle of depression. So, if this is 30 degree, then this is also 30 degree. Why? Because it is Z shaped angle that is alternate angle. So, my eye level will be like this that is 30 degree. So, parallel to another line which forms a Z shape angle, we can write this as 30 degree. Also, they have given the ship's masthead is 50 meter height. So, this is 50 meter height and we need to calculate the distance of a ship and a boat here. Now, we know opposite side is given, angle is given, length is not given. That is the distance between the ship and boat is not given. So, let me take this as x, distance x. Now, I need to calculate the distance of a boat from the ship. So, which 
formula or which trigonometric ratio can I use for 30 degree? It is opposite and adjacent side. Again, tan theta. So therefore, tan 30 degree is equal to opposite side by adjacent, where x can be taken as distance from the ship. Now, what is tan 30 degree? It is 1 by root 3, which is 50 divided by x, or I can write x is equal to 50 root 3 meter. So, therefore, the distance from the ship is, the distance from the ship is 50 root 3 meter. Next question. A person standing on the bank of a river observes that the angle subtended by a tree on the opposite bank is 60 degree. When he returns 40 meters from the bank, he finds the angle to be 30 degree. Find the height of the tree and the breadth of the river. Now assume that a person is standing here. He sees a tree on the other bank of the river. So, when he sees the tree, the angle of elevation created was 60 degree. Later, he moves 40 meter away from the bank and again he sees a tree. The angle of elevation was 30 degree. Now, I need to calculate the breadth of the river. This is the distance. I will take this as x and the height of the tree. I will take this as s. Let me take this as A, B, C and D. Now here I need to find out two unknown variables. One is the distance of the bank as well as the height of the tree. Now apply tan 60 for the triangle ACB. So tan 60 is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. This is from triangle a, C, B. Stand 60 is root 3. So, root 3 is equal to H divided by X. Therefore, H can be written as root 3 X. Take this as equation 1. Next, tan 30 degree is equal to the opposite side is height that is H and the adjacent side is total 40 plus X. So, this is from triangle ABD. So, next here tan 30 degrees 1 by root 3 which is equal to H into 40 plus X. Now, we get therefore H is equal to cross multiply this we get 40 plus X divided by root 3. So, therefore equation 2. Now, H is equal to 40 plus X by root 3. H is equal to root 3 X. So, from 1 and 2, I can equate them. From 1 and 2, I can equate root 3 X is equal to 40 plus X divided by root 3. So, when you multiply root 3, root 3 into root 3 is 3. X is equal to 40 plus X. Or, I will get... 2x is equal to 40 or x is equal to 10 meters. Now from 1, I got h is equal to root 3x. So h is equal to root 3 into 10. Therefore h is equal to 10 root 3 meter. What is actually x we have taken? x is nothing but the breadth of the river and h is nothing but the height of the tree. So therefore what I can write? So therefore breadth of the river is 10 meter and height of the tree is 10 root 3 meter. So this is how we can calculate. Now we have here 3x is equal to 40 plus x which can be written as 2x is equal to 40. So therefore x is equal to 20 meter we get. So what is x we have taken? So this implies breadth of the river. So breadth of the river is 
20 meter. Again, we need to calculate the height of the tree. So therefore, from equation 1, it implies height is root 3 times x. So x is given as 20. So therefore, h is equal to 20 root 3 meter. So this implies height of the tree is height of the tree is 20 root 3 meter. Next question. The angle of the elevation of the top of a tower from the base and the top of a building are 60 degree and 30 degree. The building is 20 meters high. Find the height of the tower. So we have a building here and we have a tower here. So this is the ground level. So when I see the top of the tower from the base, the angle was 60 degree. And when I see the top of the tower from the building, the angle was 30 degree. Now the height of the building is given that is 20 meter. I need to calculate the height of the tower, this complete height. So let me try this as H. Let me take this as A, B, C, and this is C, D and this point as E. Now this is given. Let's calculate the height of the tower. Next, from triangle A, D, C, which is the triangle, this is the triangle A, D, C, tan 60 degree is equal to opposite side is height, adjacent side is A, C. So which implies root 3 is equal to h into ac or I can write h is equal to root 3 ac. Take it as equation 1. Again from triangle bde tan 30 degree is equal to de divided by be. Clearly, we can see BE and AC are same. So, I can write this as DE divided by AC. So, therefore, this is 1 by root 3 is equal to DE divided by AC. Now, here this equation can also be converted as AC is equal to H divided by root 3. So, let me consider this as equation 1. And here I will get... AC is equal to DE root 3. Let me consider this as equation 2. Now from 1 and 2, I can write H divided by root 3 is equal to DE root 3. Or I can write H is equal to 3 into DE. Actually what is DE? So DE means here this distance is 20 because AB is 20 so I can write CE as 20. It is DC minus 20 or we can write it as H minus 20. So this implies H is equal to 3 into H minus 20. So H is equal to 3H minus 60. We will get it as 2H is equal to 60. So therefore, H is equal to 30 meter. So what is H? The height of the tower. So therefore, the height of the tower is 30 meter. So first, from the triangle ADC, apply tan 60. We have AC as a common, which we will get for both 1 and 2. So equating 1 and 2, we will get H by root 3 as DE root 3. But what is DE? DE is nothing but total height minus 20. So therefore, I have replaced it by H minus 20. So 3H minus H becomes 2H. Minus 60 when it goes it becomes plus 60. By dividing we will get h is equal to 30 meter. So therefore h is nothing but height which we have taken. Therefore the height of the tower is 30 meter. Next question. A person is at the top of a tower 75 feet height. 
From there, he observes a vertical pole and finds the angle of depression of the top and the bottom of the pole which are 30 degree and 60 degree respectively. Find the height of the pole. So, a person is actually at the top of a tower now. So, which is 75 feet height. Now from there he observes a vertical pole and finds the angle of depression of the top and the bottom of the pole. So let me consider this as the tower and he observes a pole. From here he observes the angle of depressions from the top and bottom are 30 degree and 60 degree. So if this is my eye level, this is 30 degree which means this can be 30 degree. And again, if I create this as angle 60 degree, this will be angle 60 degree. So this is 60 degree because it creates an alternate angles. Now, I have to calculate this height of the pole. Let me take this as H. Let me name the end points there. So let me name it as A, B, C, D, and this is E. So now again using the concept of the tan theta ratio, let's see from triangle ABD tan 60 is equal to, so this is the triangle I'm taking, tan 60 is equal to, tan 60 is equal to AB divided by BD. So which is 75 divided by BD tan 60 is root 3 which is 75 by BD. Let's take the unknown quantity BD which is 75 by root 3. So we got BD now. So next take from the triangle AEC. From triangle AEC tan 30 degree is equal to AE divided by EC. EC is actually same as BD. So therefore I can write it as AE divided by BD. Now how we will get AE? If I subtract H from 75, this length I will get AE. So therefore tan 30 is actually 1 by root 3. AE can be written as 75 minus H divided by BD. So therefore cross multiplying we get BD is equal to root 3 into 75 minus H. So take this as equation 2 and this as equation 1. From 1 and 2 I can write 75 by root 3 that is from 1 and 2 implies 75 by root 3 is equal to root 3 into 75 minus H. Multiply root 3 here, we get 75 is equal to 3 into 75 minus H. Let's solve it now. 75 is equal to, so we get 225 minus 3H. So I'll get 3H is equal to 225 minus 75 which is equal to 150 or H is equal to 50 meter. What is this H actually? H is the height of the pole. So therefore, height of the pole is 50 meter. This is how we will get. Just equating the equation 1 and equation 2. We will have two angles. Based on the two angles, write the trigonometric ratio of tan. Equate the unknown quantity from the left hand side. So right hand side will become equal. From that we can find the height of the pole. Next question. Two tower of height 14 meter and 25 meter stand on level ground. The angles of elevation of their tops from a point on the line joining their feet are 45 degree and 60 degree respectively. Find the distance between the towers. So we have two towers. One tower is 14 meter, another tower is 25 meter. So we are in between here. So a person when he observes the angle of elevation from the tops from a point line joining them or so here it was 
45 degree and when he see the top here it was 60 degree. So let me mark this as A, B, C, D and this as E. So this is 14 meter and this is 25 meter. I need to calculate the distance between these two. Let me consider this as X. Now apply tan 60. So from triangle ABE tan 60 degree is equal to 25 divided by BE. So this is the length. So tan 60 is root 3 is equal to 25 by BE. I need BE actually so I will take BE is equal to 25 by root 3. Let me take this as equation 1. Next let us take from triangle CDE tan 45 degree is equal to CD divided by DE. CD is actually 14 by DE. Tan 45 is 1, 14 into DE. So DE is equal to 14. Now take this as equation 2. Now I need the value of BD. So now BD is equal to DE plus BE. So which is 14 plus 25 by root 3. So therefore BD can be written as 25 plus 14 root 3 divided by root 3 meter. What is actually the BD? BD is the distance between the towers. So therefore the distance between the towers is 25 plus 14 root 3 divided by root 3 in terms of meter. So here just cross multiplying 14 root 3 plus 25 by common denominator root 3. Next question. The angles of depressions of two boats as observed from the masthead of a ship 50 meter high are 45 degree and 30 degree. What is the distance between the boats if they are on the same side of the masthead in line with it? I have a ship here whose distance is 50 meter high. I have two boats here. Let me take this as two boats. So when I see from the top of the ship, the first boat have an angle of 45 degree and the second boat have an angle of 30 degree. So if this is my observation, so when I take it creates an alternative angle. So this here it gives 30 degree and similarly from here, this is nothing but 45 degree. Let me mark it as A, B, C, D. Now again using the concept of tan theta because we have opposite sides for both angles. So from triangle ABC tan 45 is equal to 50 divided by BC. Tan 45 value is 1. So therefore we get BC is equal to 50 meter. Next let us take tan 30 degree from triangle ABD tan 30 degree is equal to 50 divided by BD. So now I have to calculate the distance between the board that is this is the distance I have to calculate. Let me take this as X and this we have got now as 50 meter. So tan 30 degrees 1 by root 3 50 BD can be written as BC plus CD which is 50 divided by BC we have got from 1 as 50 and this as X now. So cross multiply I will get 50 plus X is equal to 50 root 3. So cross multiplying this becomes now X is equal to 50 root 3 minus 50. So X is equal to if you take 50 as a common factor you will get root 3 minus 1. 
So what is this x actually? The distance between the boats. So therefore, the distance between the boats is 50 into root 3 minus 1 meters. So this is how we can calculate any unknown height or distance between any two towers, any two boats like this. We will take few more problems in our next session. Until then, keep watching, keep learning and keep exploring. Thank you.